A couple of weeks ago, I did a piece on the many great rock albums that were released 50 years ago, 1974, with my two absolute favorites being Bowie's Diamond Dogs and Aerosmith's Get Your Wings. Well, 10 years later, 1984, there were a lot of pretty good rock albums that year, too. Damn, how's that 40 years ago already? Yikes. Uh, anyway, the three biggest top 40 hits of that year were pretty decent. Prince's When Doves Cry was number one, followed by Tina Turner's What's Love Got to Do With It? And yes, the title song from the Footloose soundtrack and movie, a huge hit for Kenny Loggins. As for albums in 1984, there were debut LPs from the likes of Bon Jovi, The Bangles, Red Hot Chili Peppers, The Cult, Queensryche, Sheila E., and Scandal, featuring Patti Smythe. Julian Lennon and John Sun put out a pretty good debut album, too. Jay Giles Band frontman Peter Wolf went solo with Lights Out. Real good title song. Also, Steve Perry of Journey fame put out his first solo album, Street Talk. And there were a couple of debut albums that were massive hits. Charday's Diamond Life and Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Welcome to the Pleasure Dome with that great single on it, Relax. Perhaps not rock albums, but there were hit albums like Berlin's Love Life, The Go-Go's Talk Show, Hollow Notes, Big Bam Boom, John Waits, No Breaks, featuring that great song, Missing You. The Jacksons' Victory, they did a huge tour the second half of 1984. And how about these three massive hit albums? Wham's Make It Big with the hits Freedom, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. And, oh yeah, Madonna's Like a Virgin with that memorable title song, plus Material Girl and Dress You Up. Oh yeah, Tina Turner's fantastic comeback album, Private Dancer, with three or four big hits on there, like you know, Better Be Good to Me, and as I mentioned, What's Love Got to Do With It. What else? Well, there were new albums from 38 Special, Culture Club, The Fix, Joan Jett, R.E.M., Depeche Mode, Elvis Costello, Glenn Fry of the Eagles, Jimmy Buffett, Farner, Elton John, Rod Stewart, Meatloaf, Pat Benatar, and a band that I was never a huge fan of, Duran Duran, although their 1984 LP, Arena, did include the one hit that I really liked from them, Hungry Like the Wolf. Also in 84, we got the posthumous LP from John Lennon with Yoko, of course, Milk and Honey, that yielded the top 10 single, Nobody Told Me. And fellow ex beatle Paul McCartney dropped the Give My Regards to Broad Street soundtrack that included the hit No More Lonely Nights. Fellow Brit David Bowie released Tonight with the minor hit Blue Jean on it. Hard rock and metal fans got albums from Judas Priest, White Snake. Uh, that LP being slided in. You got all of that. Uh, Anthrax, Rat, Michael Schenker, Crocus, Dio, Dokken, Kiss, Twisted Sister. We're not going to take it. Uh, a reformed Deep Purple and, oh yeah, Metallica. More on those latter two albums in just a bit. Oh, I mentioned the Footloose movie soundtrack. Well, there was another fun movie and soundtrack in 1984 also. This is Spinal Tap. Fun movie, fun album with songs like Hellhole, Sex Farm, Stonehenge, and of course, Big Bottom with the opening line, the bigger the cushion, the sweeter the pushing. Yeah, many others. But you know what? Let's get to my favorite albums released in 1984. First, I'll show you a graphic of a bunch that didn't quite make my top 10. Let's call these the second 10 or honorable mention from 84. Albums from the likes of Queen, that album being The Works with Radio Gaga on it. Uh, Don Henley, The Kinks, Rush, Joe Jackson. I loved his Body and Soul album. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. And oh yeah, these two. ACDC's 74 Jailbreak, which was actually recorded 10 years earlier and featured the late, great Bon Scott. And what I did mention just a moment ago, Metallica's Ride the Lightning with the fan favorites Fade to Black and For Whom the Bell Tolls. All right, without further ado, my top 10 personal favorite albums from 1984. Uh, number 10 is from the reformed Mark II lineup of Deep Purple, Perfect Strangers, with the great songs on there, Knocking at Your Back Door and the title cut. Ninth would be an amazing LP from Brian Adams, Reckless, which had a slew of hits, including Summer of 69, Heaven, and Run to You. Eighth, the fifth studio album from The Cars, Heartbeat City, with the hits Magic, Drive, and You Might Think. Coming in then at number seven, U2's The Unforgettable Fire, with the terrific song Pride in the Name of Love, plus Bad on there. 
I was a huge fan of the Scorpions right from the get-go in the early to mid-1970s. And then they hit it real big in 1984 with the release of this one, Love at First Sting. Thanks to the success of Rock You Like a Hurricane primarily, but also the great power ballad, Still Loving You. So damn good. So this album is number six on my list. All right, you ready? The top five from 1984 for me. Purple Rain from the incredibly talented Prince, first of all. So darn good. Uh, the title song, When Doves Cry, which I mentioned was the year's top single, according to Billboard, and Let's Go Crazy. Pretty damn good, too. Fourth, the Pretenders album that was written after two of their band members died of drug overdose and while Chrissy Hines' baby daughter was learning to call. The album is called Learning to Crawl, with a slew of great songs on there like Middle of the Road, Back on the Chain Gang, and 2,000 Miles. Loved all of those. At number three from 1984, in my personal view anyway, released just nine days into that year, is the album 1984 from Van Halen, with so many great songs on there. We're talking Jump, Hot for Teacher, Panama, I'll Wait, etc. Classic VH for sure. All right, number two, it's, well, this guy, with great songs like My Hometown, Glory Days, Bobby Jean, Dancing in the Dark, and the title song, of course, Born in the USA, it is Bruce. And all right, my absolute favorite album from the year 1984. Can I get a drum roll, please? You know, I didn't fully appreciate this one until years later, but it is a soundtrack from a great concert film that was just re-released and enhanced last year, as a matter of fact. I saw it in IMAX last September. It's this one, The Talking Heads, Stop Making Sense. Look at these songs on here as I flip it around for you. We're talking uh, Psycho Killer, Swamp, Burning Down the House, Once in a Lifetime, Life During Wartime, their great cover of Take Me to the River, it's almost a greatest hits collection, if you ask me. So here again is the graphic of my personal top 10. And who knows, maybe they were some of your favorites, either back in 1984 or at some point after that. And hopefully some of the albums that I mentioned also will bring back some good memories. So there you have it, a recap of some of my favorite, mostly rock albums from the year 1984. I still like all of those songs and albums all these years later. See ya.